According to recent media reports, the United Democratic Front leader, Chief Justice Tarweb, allegedly urged all members of his party to vote for Swapo candidate Prime Minister Hage Gangop in next year's presidential election because he belongs to the Damara tribe. Tarweb's party has a huge Damara following. These remarks sparked controversy from different political analysts and leaders. Swapo Youth League Secretary General Elijah Ngurare said the youth wing will not tolerate tribalism. The militant youth across the motherland are encouraged to reject and fight the wave of tribalism customarily existing amongst the older generation, which we now see being introduced to the young and innocent youth of our country. Keep your tribal votes. Swapo party does not need it, not now or ever. Gurare further assured the communities that it was time for change and that the Swapo Youth League will fight tooth and nail for economic freedom for the poorest Namibians. Moreover, he urged government to look into improving the lives of those that put them in power. He also took the platform to commend government's efforts, particularly when it comes to the procurement bill and the availing of $40 billion for the energy housing project that was announced a few weeks ago. At the same time, Gurare cautioned that the population's large income disparity is still a reality. He encouraged the youth to take ownership of developmental projects. The comrades who live in the informal settlement here, you need electricity, you need water, you need housing, you need all social amenities that make your life decent and dignified. And when you build it, and when those tenders are given, we don't want people from Venduk East, including some of us here, to come and do the work where you yourself can do the work. At the same occasion, the Swapo Youth League donated three water tanks to the Klavanelo Sara Michal constituency after they came across distraught settlers in the area that relied on sewage water for survival. In addition to this gesture, the Youth League also donated 13 computers to schools in 13 regions, and these were received by representatives of the Ministry of Education. For the News on One, I am Rochelle Needle.